one of the early use cases that we have in metaverse ideas and worlds and all this kind of fun stuff is live concerts, live music. And so, you know, to get a, maybe a better understanding of that uh, and understand kind of what's been done, why it's interesting, how that works, please welcome to the stage DJ and musician and rapper Karamuru. Woohoo! <laughs> Thor, as he told me he's called. So um, let's talk about our metaverse experiences. Like it's already said, I'm a musician, I'm a rapper, I'm a yeah, music producer and all, and I also am a gamer since I play games since 87 or something. Really, I really love games. And I think metaverse was a really good thing to combine these two um, opportunities. I mean, it really came up into my mind during the pandemic, it makes sense. Um, I'm also speaker um, of the Board of Trustees for Berlin Music Commission. We were thinking about new concepts of how to um, play live, even if you cannot leave the house or like, cannot get into bigger groups. I um, just want to talk about my, my sexy team. First of all, me. <laughs> okay. It's a really bad JPEG, you can see. I just cut it out with um, Canva. Not so good. But um, yeah, there's also Christine Serafin and uh, Luana. And our team is actually bigger, but I just, uh, yeah, just wanted to show. Um, see you today, bye. <laughs> okay, love you too. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I keep, like to keep it things more personal, that's it. So, um, let's come to the whole thing. Who doesn't know what the metaverse is? Just lift your hand, it's totally fine. You all know what the metaverse is, okay. Good, because we have all this strange impression through Facebook that the metaverse is one thing or he's owning it and everything, but it's not the case. And I think we should, when we talk about metaverses, we can think about more like a situation of a multiverse and we have different metaverse platforms and everybody is trying something new and trying to connect these through a certain kind of uh, like cross-platforming. So we can use one avatar and go with the same avatar to the other platform. So basically that, and I think like actually metaverse in the sense of not in the sense of music creativity but for me it always is this already in online games like world of warcraft um i think we all watched this uh, ready player one movie like most of you so nice movie but i don't know if all the companies um would agree to this what comes in the future so we mix everything up i don't know if this is going to happen and we all know also the nice concert from travis scott somebody was in the game on fortnite saw it live okay two wow all right um also, you have really have to check the one from Ariana Grande. It's amazing. I didn't watch it, but yeah, today I watched it. It's, it's a really amazing concert. But the only thing about these concerts, they're not live. But still, they have a huge community at Fortnite, which is great. And um, I think you can create different metaverse experiences. That's why I said, like, hey, find as an artist, find your own platform that suits best and how you can reach your community. So can you, you can use even a platform which is called, like, HeFM. You can re uh, create, like, basic 2D uh, experiences and in each room um, you can for example have a live stream camera set up so you have like um, for example a festival running so this is also a kind of a metaverse situation you can meet people you can connect with people it doesn't need to be 3d so this is just my opinion about of, co of course we know kind of Facebook horizon I was never in there they didn't let me <laughs> but okay um, wait this is this direction no? Um, so this is my band or the collective I'm working with. Um, we created most of the like uh, the avatars, or at least the concept. The concept was designed and then later with Brazilian artists who also um, like artists for Afropunk Bahia, really good artists. And later, if want, somebody wants to get to know them, I will connect you. And yeah, there's me on the right side. Um, and this uh, Luana, which I showed you on the left side. And uh, the whole process was really interesting how we created it. So we wanted to have a metaverse experience like inside a game, but we thought like, okay, VR, VR is a nice thing, but it's more approachable if it's in a game where you can just go through your computer or with your mobile phone or through your browser, for example. So we reached out to a company, it's called Yabal.io, and they had actually already a platform um, and a live music platform, so we could create our avatars and have live performance in there. The live performance actually from our whole band never happened because of technical issues. It's really hard to do like five avatars at the same time live, but like two is okay for this company. Other people can do it, but still I will talk about the technic technological issues um, later. Um, so yeah, this one I can I can show you the platform that we're working with. I give you some examples here from Yabal, the platform that we're working with, VRChat, Altspace, RaceSpace. Some of them are VR, others not. Um, let me just see if this works. So these are the Metaverse concert I can... Okay, do we have sound? 
Okay, this is not sound. Imagine there's a lot of sound. <laughs> so this is all live. All right. This is a like, little insight of how the game is. All right, I'm just going to go back. Didn't connect the sound. Um, so actually, this platform, what we are doing with the Metaverse concept, we have it every Wednesday, and we wanted to make a community event. We always talked about this thing that's like the community is in the center of it, and it's really too important to get this together. But I think you might heard of this one event. I, it was supported by the European Money, where like they had like 300,000 or something invested at the end, like five people showing up. And I think also for us, it's, um, because we're building things from the ground up, it's really hard at the beginning to get the community in the game, make it interesting. It must be an experience. You cannot just say like, hey, our artist is playing in 3D there. It's really cool. And people like, most people maybe don't like games, and they prefer to go to a concert. Why they should go to a 3D? event which is even complicated to get in you have to download the app and you don't have a pc and all these things so you have to find your community so what we changed now is focusing more on uh, gamers gamers who like music and also have a pc and this is working pretty well also people like who are interested in nfts um the avatars for example that we are using for like the avatars that you can see down here they are all nfts um people can kind of there is something what we call a coin drop, so we let like coins fall off and people can challenge. So who got more coins get the avatar, get a new avatar at the end. Um, we're using different platforms, for example, Discord to communicate in between uh, the players and also the artists and setting up also profile for every artist. Um, the cool thing is like we're doing this since January and having every Wednesday another artist, a Berlin artist or some international artist who come over and uh, perform for 20 minutes. For us, it was really an A, B testing. So sometimes the machine crashes, sometimes too much people come in and it crashes again, but still, like the people are hyped, they're coming in and trying it out. Um, or like we had issues, for example, the, the mocap suit was not connecting, but it's getting better and better. And actually the last concerts were really great. So it's part of the journey, it's a work in progress. Um, so um, who who's going, wait, does this work? No, it's not. Wait, I have to click it. Uh, no, sorry. No, we don't. Yeah, it's still good a second time, huh? Yes. Um, let me see. I'm just going to click it like this. So um, somebody uses VR chat or is in VR chat, Oculus Quest, <laughs> the one person who also knows Fortnite, right? <laughs> OK. Um, I would just tell everyone who wants to know about Metaverse, Metaverse community, like having this experience, just go into VRChat. Even if you don't have an Oculus Quest or anything, just download the app on the computer and just visit and connect with the people. There's such an amazing community happening, people building different experiences. Um, you have, for example, to imagine like one time I was in VR chat walking down the street and then somebody comes over with a car and he said, like, hey, you want to have a ride? And I said, okay, let's have a ride. I just get in and we went just through a bridge and we we're talking. It's kind of weird, but it's a really cool experience. Um, other possibilities, especially for musicians, is DJing. And there's a lot of, lot of really cool clubs like Shelter. And um, yeah, you have to see all this through all these worlds. And they're kind of private to get in. Um, I don't know, you know, the DJ is called Mass. M U W Z. He got an own also club. It's a kind of restricted to 80 to 90 people. You need a PC for it, but the graphics are amazing. The the DJs are amazing. People can play from all over the world and DJ. And the only thing is like, for example, okay, you ask yourself, how are you going to do this with the equipment as a DJ? You have the VR glasses, and there are so many possibilities how you can fix this. You can also use AR, for example, that you use a camera like in real over your set for DJing. And then you're going to bring this into the VR space so you can see through it and you have it always for you. So you can play with your um, player and all, like with the real player and still can look at the um, guests there who they are dancing. Yeah, like really nice. Um, I'm going to hit this play here and we're going to get about to turn up again. All right. Let me just, it works. Okay. All right, all right. This is not the plan. So this is like an actual club situation. All these people are real. Um, real DJs, the visuals, you can do everything you want actually. You can make a floor which is like disappearing, then you're in open air. Um, 
yeah, people can connect to the screen. Like for example, another DJ is playing and showing this stuff from all over the world. You have dancers. This, uh, all, everything is possible. Like especially, I think for DJs and a performer, dancer, VR chat is a really nice space to connect and um, exchange ideas. Um, so I can later also give you some more of the um, information about the clubs to visit or to get the discords. So, yes, and also for our dancing community here, because well, these are simple controllers, they're not as complex. Like, I mean, you can, you can get the whole set for three to 500 euros and it works. Like, it's a bit glitchy. But still, yeah, I don't expect they're doing choreographies because of the latency, but things are working pretty out. So another aspect that I think is really important when it comes to um, this community is like that we stay diverse in a sense also like, hey, I want to have a total different avatar. I don't want to look like this. Okay, I love already player me, don't get me wrong. But like, um, like I want to have an own avatar. Somebody can create an avatar for me. For example, that's also what we're doing as a company with Diasporic Arts Alliance. Like, if you want an avatar, we can create it for you, and we can also make it ready that it works for um, VR Chat. So I think in VR Chat you're gonna find all different kinds of uh, avatars. It's really beautiful, incredible. You can even like, if you go close to them and touch their hair, the hair are gonna move. They have so many new technologies already in there. The only thing. Uh, the only thing that is a kind of a bit complicated is like how I gonna make money with that. So <laughs> you still have to kind of find a way like out in and out how you're gonna get the money through Patreon systems. There are some ticketing system that works too, um, but it's not as easy, for example, in a normal uh, streaming music streaming situation to do. But it's possible. The cool thing is like, okay, one club for example can just hold like 90 people, but you can create several instances with playing with the same DJ at the same time. So and one DJ can play at another level, another level, another level, and um, you bring more people from different countries, for example, together because you have a club where more Brazilians hanging out or something, and you bring all these people together. It's also possible. I think also what is really nice um, about a VR chat experience is that you. Um, for example, like if things are too loud for you, you can just put down the music, you can just converse uh, with the people. If you have issues, for example, because of these effects with your, for your eyes and stuff, you can also turn them off. So there are a lot of possibilities also that include more people um, into the space. So um, another, wait, let's see if it works. Okay. Um, another platform, like, no, let me just talk about VR chat. another opportunity for Artists, for example, is how you present your album. And I think this one was a really nice presentation of a live concert from Jean-Michel Jarry. Um, you go three, through a uh, different, every, every song actually had an own level that you can go through, you can meet people. And it's a, it's a nice journey. And at the end also you can get, or like you can copy the avatars. And these avatars are especially um, for this uh, uh, club experience or like um, concert experience made. So you use this avatar and when you go into another instance, people say like, hey, you got this avatar, it was also there at the concert. So this is also a nice community aspect. Um, the live experience actually had some, like because he made a live experience and then he made an experience that is just streamed. So there are some extras also in the live experience. I think this is also a nice way how you can distribute uh, and so much be a, a new album. I saw other people also distributing um, uh, their concerts like in other spaces so I think as an artist get together with a graphic designer create your space make it a community space and exchange through it is I think really nice in VR chat um, yeah now I'm coming to uh, another one um, this is a platform that I really um, like I really appreciate it it's like um, rave space because they have um, a simple access, you can just through, go through the browser. Um, Frank Hahn created this business team, and um, you can you can visit it. And also, you go in the club. There's a bouncer. The bouncer gonna let you in. You don't need a ticket because it's just for showing how it works. You can meet people. You can get drunk. So the image gonna shake a bit. You can have, for example, also create a sticker and put place it somewhere so, so you can exchange. Maybe you create a QR code. Somebody can scan it. So this is a nice possibility. The, most of the people in the club, they are just, um, uh, they are non, non players, like they are not real. Um, but for example, like this person, you can see it here in the back, is like kind of a hologram. They work with green screen, use two cameras, 
and um, you can pl uh, they can play DJ live. And um, he like uh, Rave Space also works then with other um, companies. For example, Twelve by Twelve made also like a hip hop experience now, um, the Block Party, where like famous uh, rappers from from Germany were in, which was it? I think uh, Half Befeel and others. So I don't know if you know them. It was also a really nice experience. So um, they're making also experience for um, companies like Samsung, so you can visit a shop and, and get information about something or just buy it. So I really would check out um, Rave Space. And I'm just coming at the end um, to, to Hear FM. That's what I already talked about, like, hey, there are also other possibilities. So as an artist, you have to stay creative and find your way how you're going to market yourself. Or maybe you people on Hear FM, like I said, it's 2D looking thing you can meet and it's fun. It's also a way how you can exchange. Um, so talking about, how's my time? Okay, so talking about the equipment that you need, for example, in, in the case of the VR chat situation, you can just start with no glasses and just with a computer, but you can also get these nice glasses, um, get a nice controller, you go through a streaming system with a sound card, and um, that would be a way how you got into VR chat as a DJ. Um, when it comes to our system that we're working with, it's a bit more complex, um, you need some wireless systems, um, the, there are different kinds of suits. You can definitely use also take other technologies. We are working with Xsense because Xsense is actually one of the best. It really works nice. You have a more simple suit, uh, the mocap suit. Um, that is, it's fine, but after a while, because of all the magneti uh, magnetism stuff, like boxes and everything, it's going to drift a bit, so you have to kind of calibrate it again. But um, it's a really, really fun experience. Um, what I say, like the... Um, yeah, it's, it's really fluent uh, how it works. We're using also face capture. For that, you can just use an easy, like an iPhone. You can just connect it straight to the suit so you can get the face. We try to use helmets, but actually, when you think about the artist, mm. the artist has the helmet, and then he cannot look into the world. It must be kind of also immersive for him or for them. So we have a monitor so the person can look inside, and we just place the face, uh, the, the face capturing in front of the person. Uh, that's the most simple way. You need a really strong computer. And yeah, these are basically the sensors that we're using. They're on all the bones, connected to the bones. Um, yes, basically this is kind of the setup. Of course, you need the software that you can download at yabal.io. Um, so this is what we actually do as part of my company or like the startup that we founded. It's like, um, yeah, we take artists to the metaverse. If you want to have more information how I could get as an artist into the metaverse, we can find a solution for that. We do the Yabai concerts that are weekly. Now we are also funded. Um, so we're working together with the SIA Berlin. We have some um, a series there, which is really interesting also because we're getting all the departments together. People create new ideas, how actually also create marketing strategies to uh, um, for, for artists in the metaverse. And... Um, yeah, we do hybrid concert. This is another um, thing that we're right now working on, like portal, um, I said, like portal club. So you can be like in the real club without glasses, and you can see into the virtual experience, and the virtual experience can also see you. Uh, this is not as complicated. We wanted to make it mobile, and um, you can even project dancers from the virtual space into the real space like place them somewhere and make a really interesting experience with a simple room. So it means like if you have a club, how normally like 300 people fitting in, you can fit in like 600 now in this way. So this is also an opportunity we're working on it. So if somebody got a space for us to try it and make the prototype, so just talk to us, would be really nice. Um, so, and uh, yes. And this is also, I think, a topic that we come into when it comes to NFTs. Um, that's the last page. Exactly, it is the last page. Um, yeah, like like I said, I already talked about it quickly. There's the possibility of digital merch that you can place. You can get information. We also, um, our thought is like the players can get in for free, but they have to get like these, uh, these special avatars. These are NFTs, and um, yeah, that's basically how it's it's working. We're working on other uh, opportunities also, but like step by step, really slow that everything works and. Yeah, actually, that's the last page. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you.